Hi everybody, it's Julie the Whippy Chick and I am back with day 18 of the Daily Red Heart Pattern Series. So today we are going to look at patterns that are just for the bath. And I love all of these ideas and I think that they're going to make everything nice and scrubby dubby clean for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to open up with a scalloped edge washcloth. Now personally, I would call this the piece of bread washcloth and I'll show you why in just one moment. Let's open up the pattern. Okay, so the Red Heart Scalped Edge Washcloth. This says invigorate your skin with this crochet washcloth and Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. Now lots of people like the scrubby yarn. I'm personally not one of them. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing, it's just a personal choice. I'm just not a huge fan of scrubby yarn. But if you like using scrubby yarn, this is listed as a skill level of easy crochet and um, it does make for a really nice washcloth. Now I'm going to click this so you can see why I look at it and think of a piece of bread. There. <laughs> I think that this looks like a slice of bread. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, yeah, but these are really, really nice. I don't know if I'd make it in the brown, maybe. It just depends on your home decor choice. You know, my bathroom happens to be gray, so <laughs> I'd probably use a different color choice. But otherwise, I think these are really nice. And like I said, they're easy to make. And, you know, they might even make a really nice gift. Okay, let's move on to our next pattern. Okay, the next pattern is called the Soap Pocket Scrubby. So these things are kind of neat. I'm going to open it up so we can take a closer look. This says, how cute is this beginner crochet soap pocket in Red Heart Scrubby? So this is another um, project that uses the scrubby yarn. Um, and basically what this is, is you're creating like this little bag basically and you put the bar of soap in it and then you fasten the top up if you want. Now I've made these before with using a drawstring instead of the button. I think the button is a really cute idea but with a drawstring you can also hang it up so that makes it kind of nice. Um, I've also heard these called soap savers. Basically what it is is you don't take the soap out of the bag you just leave it in there so as the soap falls apart while you're using it it's all contained right in this nice scrubby and of course also you use it to scrub with so that's a neat little idea I like it a lot. Okay let's move on to our next pattern. Okay, our next pattern is called the Freeze Scrubby Bath Poofs crochet pattern using Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. So like I said, we are, are, we are looking at all scrubby yarn patterns today. This is another easy level crochet project. They're really easy to make and um, I like the colors of these. As much as I'm not a big fan of scrubby yarn, I do like the colors of these a lot. They're really pretty and um, Give them a try if you're interested in that. Getting yourself a little scrubby. <laughs> They're cute. I've, I've made scrubbies with cotton yarn, just plain cotton yarn. And um, this, might be, this might be a little bit better than those. Those ones take a little longer to dry. So, All right, that's going to do it for day 18 of the Daily Red Heart Pattern series. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying making it. And any uh, interest in any of these patterns from this series, go ahead and click in the description box below. There's a link that's going to take you to my Pinterest board. And all, all you have to do is click on the picture of the item you're interested in, and that's going to take you right to the pattern, as you've seen me do throughout this video. All right, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow for the next day in the series.